I've been blessed by good teachers, many of them, and I imagine many of you have too. But if I had to name one, it would be a fellow by the name of Paul Kohlers. Paul Kohlers was a cognitive scientist and a professor at MIT when I was wrapping up my degrees. And they weren't even in cognitive science. They were in artificial intelligence and mathematics. But when you're interested in those areas, you get interested in human cognition also. So I sat in on a course that Paul Kohlers taught and just really got deeply interested in it. Not only that, but Kohlers and I kind of hit it off. We formed a friendship. I acted as a research uh, assistant for him for a summer. Later on, we wrote some papers together. And most of all, he introduced me to Project Zero at the Harvard Graduate School of Education that was just getting started then. And I flipped over as I took my degree into Project Zero, into education, and doing some really serious work in understanding how the mind works and how learning works and how we can help people to learn better. So Paul really was a pivotal figure and a friend and himself participated in Project Zero for many years as he rounded out his work at MIT. Years later, he became a professor at the University of Toronto and we kept up a, a good friendship and unfortunately passed away a number of years ago. But when I think back at Paul, what stands out for me is that he wasn't just a connection maker, he functioned as a mentor and friend. And I think that's something to take to heart when we think about how we relate to people. Uh, I've tried to be something of a mentor and friend also to the many people I've worked with, and I think I picked up a fair bit of that from Paul. Thank you, Paul.